Hi everyone, welcome back for another episode of Hot Pilot. I'm Tony. And this week we're going to take a look at the vinyl one more time. It's been about six or seven months since I did the initial installation on this vinyl, on the 3M vinyl that I've got on the plane. And a few people have been asking, how's the vinyl holding up? How's the vinyl holding up? So I decided because the winds are really bad today and we can't do much flying. There's a thunderstorm actually less than a mile away from here. Uh, I decided to come inside, take some things apart, and have a look at a few things on the engine, and at the same time made this video to show you uh, how the vinyl is holding up. Alright, so let's get to it, and uh, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and even more important, watch a few of the videos, because the videos help the algorithm decide that, hey, you should be watching Tony's videos. So uh, please do go ahead, subscribe, uh, hit the thumbs up, and uh, let's get to it. Hey, it's been six months since the initial installation of the vinyl and there is one important thing that you have to keep in mind if you haven't seen the videos uh, of this whole installation process already is that I did start this or do this through the colder months of the year uh, which means that if the surface wasn't warm enough it would affect the vinyl in the long run. Uh, the good news is not so terrible so I guess I did an average okay job. So let's start by looking at the top cowl. The top cowl was actually the very, very first piece that I did. So for those of you who have seen the video, you'll know that this black stripe behind me was probably the most terrifying thing I'd ever done. I think I did it two or three times. Can't remember now, it's been a few months. So we can see right here that there is a little bit of lifting happening around the turn. The actuality of it all is I expected this to be a whole problem area because this hits the actual back of the spinner every time I take on and take off the upper cowl. So what happens is the fiberglass spinner will hit this area every once in a while and obviously it'll damage it. The way this was originally put together was that the vinyl actually wrapped around here and what happened in a very short period of time with the vibration and me taking on and taking off the uh, cowling, what happened is, is it wore out completely over here and had detached. So I decided the other day to just take a blade and you know cut it off, but uh, it is starting to lift here. Uh, not as bad as I expected, but for instance, if we see here that it's lifted, I can actually take my hand or my thumb and press it back down. And I don't know if you can see this, but there'll be no, you know, no wrinkle left there, just like this one over here. If I take it and just press it back down, now it's all gone. And we can see that it, you know, it's, it's pretty good. However, what's going to happen is that um, you know that'll come right back up again the other place with a bit of a problem is just around the openings here the air intakes and uh, the vinyl here that goes around the edges uh, stuck pretty good but all in all this is you know it, it all goes back to the cleaning it all goes back to the cleaning that if it wasn't cleaned properly or initially the vinyl wasn't laid properly then then it would come up but nothing is coming up um, as you see, it comes around the edge here and uh, I've got no issues. Uh, other than that, the cowl, the top of the cowling is, is just fine. There are no issues at all, nothing is lifted. A bit of a thing happening here and it's always around this very tight, tight, tight edge that's there. Uh, at the front, I expected it to be a problem. Initially, I thought I was just going to cut this away and just let it sit there and then at the last minute I decided to wrap it around but I don't think I cleaned it well enough to get good adherence to the uh, fiberglass or the paint. Uh, on this side here we can see that that it's kind of you know I've got this little flap of extra meat here that has slid down so on a super hot day I took out the cowl put the cowl back on and it actually slid the vinyl back down but you know nothing to be overly concerned about it's been like that for many months now 
and I'm not an issue. But what we do see a lot of in a few places is wherever there's this tight area here, you can see that, that the vinyl is kind of retightened back up. And this is after, let me get a better view here. This is after, you know, hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. Uh, I've applied heat on this, like you can see that I can kind of come in here and I don't know if you can s notice it, but what's happening is, is I'm able, you know, I'm doing this with my finger and I really shouldn't, but if I take something, heat it up, I can actually push it back into its corner. However, the paint underneath is not perfect either, so so there's a lot of ridges. I'm doing this ever, ever, ever so lightly. I'm doing this ever, ever, ever so lightly, but you can see that, you see I can get that corner back in. Unfortunately, there isn't much I can do about that. If I lift, if I lift this vinyl and then try to bring it back in, it's just going to give me that problem. It's going to unstick and it doesn't have the life that it used to after six months. So I, I just live with it and eventually if it comes off, I'll just replace this whole piece and put it back on again. But uh, otherwise, it's, it's, it's all pretty good. Nothing is lifting anywhere. So for those of you who are wondering about the cowling with the heat, nothing comes up because of it. I'm extremely pleased with the wings, uh, probably because it was the last thing I did on the entire plane. It was the best laid out vinyl. Stripes here are actually perfect. There is absolutely no issue at all. This is a nice flat area. Uh, it comes around and I go under, you know, about an inch or so, and I just come off to the edge and there are no problems here at all. None, everything stayed on nice. Uh, I'm guessing I did a really good job here with a nice clean surface. The edges here, the vinyl is cut like right along that edge on the inside, just like it is on the trailing edge. Like there is nothing that goes underneath here. The difference between this and the cowling is simply the, the way it was cleaned. And I think I did a much better job here than I did uh, on the cowling. Keep in mind that the cowling is the very first thing that I ever did. And these stripes are the very last thing I ever did. So it's uh, quite a difference. Uh, the horizontal stabs were set up the same way. The edges here, get a better view here. The edges here are cut right to the end of the uh, stab and doesn't go mu underneath by much. So that sits well. Same thing here. This goes right to the edge, does not wrap around at all. So this ends like right, right on the edge. And if we lift this just a little, you'll see that there's no wrapping at all. And if you take, if we can see it, hopefully you're seeing this okay, that uh, the edges are not lifting. There are still some things that bother me about what I did with the vinyl, uh, this window behind me, for instance. If we look at the areas around the window, this, this uh, here that you see the gray, the paint uh, behind it, it was always like this. There's no extra shrinking that happened afterwards. Everything is fine. It's exactly as I laid it out. So the edging is the same. In my other video where I show you how I put this all together, you'd notice that this was exactly the way it was before. So there's no difference at all. We do have a bit of lift here in this area right here, this one right here, where you can see that, that there's that extra bump. This was already there. Uh, it wasn't great why I initially put it on and I didn't expect it. You'll see that little black hole there and that's me who kind of pierced it trying to get it. But now it's already two or three times that I've tried to bring this you know, back to, to a lower level and uh, it's causing me a bit of an issue. So I may at some point just cut off this whole entire stripe and just let it come down and sit there. But it's just that area there and this area here. Long flat areas have absolutely no issue, even the fine, fine, fine little pinstripe at the end where it gets to an exact point. Nothing is lifted, nothing has changed. Everything is absolutely perfect. The main stripe in the middle here, no issues at all. There's no lifting. You can see it's all nice. There's nothing, nothing wrong anywhere. So this is, is, is held well. 
letters that uh, are the call letters uh, are a different type of vinyl. They are 3M, but uh, as I stated in the initial video that I made of this, uh, this lettering here is very different than uh, the 3M that's there. Uh, this here is not a, uh, you know, the air doesn't disappear, the bubbles won't disappear from it when you're laying it on. So uh, I'll come in a little closer and you can see that uh, it's sitting beautifully exactly the way I initially laid it out. And as a matter of fact, over time, I did have an air bubble on the F and on the letter Z. And those have disappeared, which makes me quite <laughs> so over time, the air bubbles, the few air bubbles that I had on there disappeared. Again, there's no air release channels like there are on the 3M 2080. Um, uh, there aren't any air releases on this vinyl versus the 2080. A lot of the parts on the plane where I have the least amount of stretching that had to happen when I applied the vinyl seem to be the best. The biggest pain in the ass by far, and is still bothering me, is the rudder. The rudder itself is the only area where that black stripe is, is the only area that uh, I had to stretch around uh, a compound curve going in two different directions and then ended in another area. You can see where it's starting to lift here a little. I hope you're, you're getting this. It's, it's kind of hard to see through the little GoPro. Uh, but what happens is this is the actual only piece on the entire plane that starts here or actually starts on this side and wraps around. So I've got to stretch this whole area uh, past this line enough that when I cut it, it won't lift the, the way this does, but it keeps lifting. I, I've, I've redone this twice already and it's still giving me the same headaches. So I may just make make some kind of random modification here. Uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's fine in this area but the moment it comes to this tight area here where I, I you know I pull it a lot uh, it seems that as soon as you hit a cold day or a super hot day it seems to remember what it used to be like perfect there are no issues at all nothing has come up nothing has changed the lines are still nice and clean everything is good there's been no lifting anywhere around here there's been no lifting here at all this is all fine uh, the black stripes have held up nicely. The fine cuts are still as perfect as uh, when I initially put them on. There are some imperfections here, but not enough to, to matter to me or anybody else for that matter. I've had nothing but compliments about this. When you've got your cutting tape laid out, your vinyl should go out past it quite a bit. Uh, I've done it at one inch past the vinyl cutting tape. I've done it two inches, three inches. The further out you can go, the better it is. And you should always get that stretch way past that vinyl cutting tape. At least that's my experience. For any of the screws to go over the vinyl, I recommend just putting a little bit of lubricant on the, uh, the pan area of the screw before you put it in. Uh, because when you get to that final tight, if it's too dry, what ends up happening is it just, you know, it, it, it bunches up the vinyl. And so you want to avoid that. When you get to the window cells, my personal preference, if I do this again, would be to do exactly what I've got on the right side of the window here, is don't make that cut or that cutting tape go right, right, right to the edge of the window. I, I find that it, it looks better where you're kind of going past that edge by even a 16th or a 32nd of an inch. It's a much nicer finish on the right side uh, compared to the left side. But this has nothing to do with the six month period that passed. What it has to do with is how I initially laid it out. Unfortunately, the left side of the plane uh, is the side that I look at every time I get in the airplane. And it, it just bothers me all the time, it makes me want to rip up that whole vinyl. But when I think about how difficult it was uh, for me to initially put it on there, I, I just leave it and it's fine. But my recommendation is to just kind of, you know, go a bit past the way the, the right side of the plane is done and it worked out well. I did the same thing around the canopy and, and it looks perfect. It, nothing has shrank, nothing has changed, everything is beautiful that way. So as a summary, 
the plane overall is is fine there are some areas where the vinyl lifted in a, a small curve on the inside but that was always due to the fact that I didn't clean it properly on those edges because initially uh, I expected to just end the vinyl you know right at the edge and then cut it and that would be it and I thought to myself oh I'm gonna see some of the paint underneath so let me continue the vinyl but it was too late because I was already laying it out and just went a little bit further so that's why I've got the lift so the any lift that I've got is due to improper cleaning and again the lift that I've got are not really in noticeable areas or areas that matter to me or can't be fixed in the future if I decide to do so so overall I give the work that I did a 12 on 10 uh, actually maybe an 8 on 10 but given that it's a, a first time effort uh, I, I think it's pretty good I'm, I'm quite pleased with it and I stand by it I think every, if you've never done this before you should give it a shot uh, at the price of painting an entire airplane versus doing the vinyl this is obviously less expensive maybe it's a little more labor intensive if you do it yourself uh, compared to painting I did paint this plane and it was labor intensive as well so I guess it's all the same however there are lots of folks out there that say when you peel the vinyl it's gonna give you lots of problems the paint is gonna come off uh, well I'm here to say yes and no the reason being that yes the paint can come off and I've seen a couple of times not on this plane where the paint came off and it was due to the fact that the prep before applying the actual paint on the plane was done incorrectly so you know obviously the paint's going to come off you put a piece of scotch tape and leave it there long enough if the plane wasn't primed correctly and the final coat applied correctly you know with cleaning 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 all the way through then sure it's going to come off uh, but I have removed some pieces of vinyl here and reapplied them as I mentioned or may or may not have mentioned and no issues now they say that you can peel this uh, 3M off. I think it was for uh, seven years. You can have it on there and uh, you can peel it off without needing any type of chemical to help uh, uh, take it off. And I assume that somewhere between five and seven years, if I remove the 3M, it may lift the paint. Again, if I didn't do a good job of painting the plane. And so far so good I do have some bubbles under some of the 3m vinyl but that's because the bubble was the paint was actually lifting in that area already so I expect some paint to come off maybe one day when I remove this but maybe in one or two places at a quarter of an inch in size so that's it for this week thanks for joining me and we'll see you on the next one